Well, hello there. My name is Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I thought we would uh, take a moment, go over your inspection report, but before we get started, let me show you how these reports read out, and then we'll dive right into yours. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Lisa, it was great to meet with you and see your family out at the house today. Hey, what a nice house, good location as well. Let's, uh, let's go inside. Let's take a look at the fireplace itself. It's an open wood burning fireplace. We noted that the uh, hearth extension here should be 20 inches, but when the house was built, uh, 16 was probably code. Um, let's see, in the uh, firebox area, upper firebox, we're missing a little mortar up here that's actually a code violation, needs to be repaired with refractory cement, and I've given you a cost on that. Smoke chamber, sorry about this being a little bit of a blurry picture. Basically, this is a typical smoke chamber of the times. Uh, these days, we like to parge them smooth when the chimneys are built. But back in the day, this was uh, pretty much what we saw uh, and what we built <laughs> back in the 80s. Firebox uh, looks like it's been repaired over the years. I'm not seeing any problems uh, with that. Flu system looks good. Flu and flu joints. Let's go up on top. So we do have a chimney cap up on top showing a little wear and tear, right? A little rust going on up here. You'd be shocked at how heavy the steel is in that chimney cap, that's going to go another five, maybe as long as 10 years before you'll have to replace it. So no worries with that. These fine cracks are pretty common on a house this age. It's the original crown on the top of the chimney doesn't appear to be leaking. But what is leaking is both shoulders of the chimney. You can see there's Mason made no effort to uh, fill those holes. These are just typical cord holes that, in a, a brick and he made no effort. So they're probably leaking, certainly need to be repaired, and I've given you a price on doing that. You folks have questions for me, give me a call 704-526-6348. You can text me on that number if it's more convenient or email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.